Hello, Wolverines. I'm Clayton Lindsay, and this is my commentary. Now, I'm going to try to do this commentary within minutes. You know, as many of you, as many Wolverines who watch my commentaries, you know that I get down to it. Now, According to the Washington Post, this is about Jesse Duplantis. And what Jesse Duplantis is, he's a prosperity gospel preacher. And if you don't know what this prosperity gospel is, especially pimp preaching. I'm just going to say it out there. Because it is. These preachers will preach, oh, if you want the blessing of God, give a tithe, give the tithe, give, give, me, give me the money, give me the money so I can have this, so I can live like Live, live like this. It's don't worry the Bible. Nowhere in the Bible. A televangelist want his followers to pay fifty more fifty four million dollars in a private jet, and this is his fourth plane. And he said something that was crazy. If Jesus were to descend from heaven and physically set foot in the 21st century earth, on prosperity gospel televangelist Jesse Duplantis told his followers that the Redeemer will probably take their pass on riding on the back of a donkey. He'll be on an airplane preaching the gospel all over the world. What? Jesus would not do that. If Jesus were to come on this earth, he would do it just like the Bible would. And if Jesus were to live, if, Je if we were to have Jesus in this present time, I think we would ever I think we would make him mad. Because of all the stuff that's going on. Because so many of the people who claim to follow him are not really following him according to what he says. Not everyone, Matthew chapter 7, not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into, into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father. Still, still, that's still going on today. And the planets think that the light of the world would exactly, would exactly settle for 30 inches of leg room or getting patted down by TSA. Well, well, that's stupid. Because Jesus didn't need no airplane when he ascended unto heaven. Jesus didn't need no airplane when he when he was born of a woman when he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He didn't need an airplane when he died on that cross for for you and for for you and for me. He didn't need no airplane when he got up at that grave and said, "All power is given unto me, and in heaven and in earth." Go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations. Baptize in them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you even to the end of the earth. Matthew chapter 20. Matthew chapter 28. 18 through 20. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every living creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be condemned. Mark 16, 15 and 16. These are some of the things that. These prosperity preachers don't preach on. No. We here's the thing. Here's what I'm really discussing. And agree with me. How come they couldn't take this $54 million 
How come you didn't think this $54 million and give it to the city of Flint? Because if anybody needs $54 million, it's the city of Flint. Because as of right now, they still don't have no clean water. How come you couldn't help the people in Flint? Never heard, never heard of a, never heard of uh, him doing that. Never heard of Creflo Dollar, you know, buying stuff for the city. Uh, come to Flint, going to Flint, and you know, giving giving out clean water or writing a check. That's a stupid. To me, it is. I, I told some of my friends about it. I was like, "Well, Cleve, you ain't done a commentary on him on him before. Why are you doing it now? One, he's a false prophet. Two, as an evangelist, as a preacher." Not only do you have to preach the truth, but you have to refute false doctrine. You have to speak against false doctrine and false preachers. The prosperity gospel is false doctrine. What he's doing, he's doing this for himself, trust me. And he, he was on a discussion with Kenneth Copeland, which is another false prophet. He said, well, if Earl Robinson was the father of all this, if Earl Roberts would go to a, a, a go to an airport, he would have many people trying to pray for him and trying to pray for them and all oh, that and la yada yada. Of course. If you are a preacher and people find out that you are preaching, they are gonna want you to pray for them. If people found out that I'm a young preacher, excuse me. <laughs> if people find out that <clears throat> and I, you ain't gotta be big time. A big time preacher, quote unquote. If people find out that you're a preacher, of course, they're going to want you to pray for them. Pray that the plane, pray that everybody on the plane be safe. Of course they're going to want you to do that. And if they don't really, if, if, and if they don't know Christ, that's, it's your job to tell them about Jesus. And tell them they need to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts 2.38 I don't like this prosperity gospel because it's not the gospel. It's not the gospel the apostles preached. It's not the it's not the gospel that the People of the Bible obey. Just got to stop. It starts with you. It starts with me. Let's not give any of these pimp preachers a dime. But some of you are going to do it anyway. And that's your business. Me? No. No. There are people who, are, but because of the fact that we got people with itchy ears, they don't want to hear the truth of the gospel, they're going to do it. I'm Cleveland Lindsay. That's my commentary. <laughs>